I'm very excited because there's a lot of, uh, a lot of big names attached to this. Don't ask me what the names are. Impressive. I play Hank, who's a dog, in a world of dog-hating cats. I'm not a cat, I'm a dog! Nobody's perfect! <laughs> and he's trying to um, be at peace with that and also pursue his dream of being a samurai. His uh, purpose in life is to become a samurai and learn how to use a sword. So he comes to this world and meets his mentor. And of course, that changes his life. I came here to learn to be a samurai and then I got this job, but I don't have the slightest idea what I'm doing. I find him very inspiring as a character. I mean, it's the kind of the classic hero's journey of keeping getting knocked down and coming back and not giving up. You see a person that has a, you know, pardon the pun, dogged determination. Sounds like you need a mentor. <laughs> Dog breath? Not mentos, mentor. A teacher to take you under his wing, teach you all he knows, that kind of thing. That's exactly what I need. I play Jimbo, an experienced older samurai who has fallen from grace and is uh, actually the fastest sword in the world. So Jimbo is his teacher who he meets, who's tough and down and out. My friends call me Jimbo. Okay. Since I have no friend, I guess you can call me Jimbo too who inspires him and kind of is a tough teacher. Teacher, mentor, student, uh, you know, Padawan. <laughs> Perhaps a once great samurai who has fallen on hard times and maybe could use some help himself. But where could I find one? Jimbo is not interested in, in Hank or, you know, working with him or teaching him anything. Don't believe everything you read. Unfortunately, he's already pledged the samurai oath which requires him uh, to help those in need. Samurai Hank needs your help. Are you not bound by your Samurai Oath to help him? You mean the one that says I can't turn my back on those in need? Yeah, that one. No. Well, maybe. Bushido is what uh, Samurai Code is commonly known as. You swear to be brave, honorable, protect those in need, not see glory, finish what you start, and always obey your master. The Samurai Oath. Ricky Gervais, I mean, there's really nobody funnier. His, his sarcastic wit, <laughs> he is just truly hilarious, and he brings all of that to this character, Ikachu. Tonight, I'm taking you to the most exclusive club in the country. Even the members aren't allowed in. Ikachu. <laughs> Ikachu's a great character, I love him, because he's got that brass about him that he's like, he feels he's more important than anybody else. But he still has to answer to the Shogun. I have to do what the Shogun says, but in a way that will benefit me. Middle manager, they're demeaning to those below them and they suck up to those uh, above them. I promise to amaze you. Well, Ikachu basically is just in a very simple way, manipulating Hank, who's a very easy target. Vip. What's that mean? VIP. Very important pooch. <laughs> After you. I play Chuck. I play Ichiro. You're Chuck, right? Mm, no. Chuck! We have to go. I have to go. They're kind of like a little uh, comic relief in the movie, sort of uh, a little Abbott and Costello, Laurel and Hardy. A little Pumbaa and Timon. Well, I think they were probably also Abbott and Costello. Everybody's Abbott and Costello in my world. Where were you, great samurai? Hey, thanks for nothing. Because guess what? You did nothing. And I'm thanking you sarcastically. Kylie Kriyoka plays Emiko. We were just completely charmed by her performance and her interpretation of the role. Good, but not as good as it will feel someday when I'm the Shogun. So it was really wonderful getting to work with her. Emiko is this cute little cat who <laughs> gives Hank a little bit of faith and courage in himself. You can do it, Hank! She was always stepping up, always. An incredible little ball of fury. He's of an enormous guy, very substantial, hefty, <laughs> husky guy, and wearing armor. He's the Hulk. You know, he's not too bright. Do you know what a scapegoat is, Ogar? No, but if there's a goat around here, I will have him arrested immediately. Oh. 
but he's like ridiculously strong, and if you're on his side, he'll be your best friend and defend you to the death. The contrast of the big, hefty, husky warrior and this skinny, kind of effete boss. You are a total failure and a major disappointment. No offense. None taken. Constructive criticism is always welcome. I didn't expect much of you, and you still disappointed me. He's very subservient, despite his big size and, uh, and his rather husky voice. Uh, mine's got, gotten huskier now. <laughs> oh, my. Oga, of course, has to uh, repeat George Takei's classic line, oh, my, because, because of course he does. Sumo, played by Jaiman Hansu, playing a giant orange tabby sumo wrestler cat, is not necessarily a role he ever thought he would play. Send in the beast. Sumo is this giant intimidating guy that nearly kills Hank in the beginning <laughs> and later becomes his friend. No one ever beat Sumo before. No one ever nice before. Now have feelings for Hank. He's very Brooksian. It's kind of a Brooklyn Shogun. It's good to be the Shogun. He's very much like Marlon Brando. He's tough. Break the law, you pay the price. He's very aggressive. Arrest the dog. And yet, he likes kittens. Wow. You live nine lives, you get to see everything. That's why I love the character. The Shogun is always getting Ikachu's name wrong. Sometimes it's Pikachu. Pikachu, how's it going? It's Ikachu, my divine fabulousness. Sometimes it's Nike Shoe. And I'm putting you in charge of it, Nike Shoe. And occasionally it's Peekaboo. Well, Peekaboo, what do you got to say for yourself? The Shogun was the top dog, even though he's a cat. He was a real cool cat. This is a very difficult question for me to answer. The question of whether I'm a cat person or a dog person. Who's a good dog? Yeah, who's a good dog? Who's a good dog? Cute dogs. Yes. And cute little playful cats. Well, good luck. I've met some really wonderful cats. So, yeah, I don't discriminate. But I also love dogs. I have learned I cannot teach a dog to be a cat. What I must do is teach a dog to be a better dog. There are skinny, wily, clever cats. <laughs> <laughs> and cute, beautiful cats. Ah! Cats, all kinds of crazy cats. Let's see, cutthroats, good. Bounty hunters, desperados, biker gangs, excellent. Evil eyes. <laughs> you know those evil eyes that cats can, the eyes look so evil. Dogs are just like cats, except they're not cats, they're dogs. Wow. Wow! 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 We can all go rough, but nobody can do wow! Did I mention I wasn't a cat? I'm sure there's some dogs and cats that have conversations like, you know, are you a, are you a dog person or a human person? Right. Oh, I like the humans, they're all right. You know, yeah. they give me food. Life is short, and this movie is only 85 minutes long, not including end credits, so we have to hurry. It's a great cast, and I'm really happy to be a part of it. Kind of warms your heart, doesn't it?